In this example, we are going to try to create a bottom-up Java web service using JDeveloper. So to start with, we'll go to Oracle JDeveloper and we're going to create an empty project. So I'm just going to right click, new project. I'm going to select generic project, click OK. And I'll call this as bottom-up Java WS as the name. And if I scroll down, I'm going to go ahead and select Java and web services as two technologies available for my project. I'll click next. I will leave the default arguments as it is and I'll click finish. Now that I have my empty project, I'm just going to go ahead and add my first Java class. I'm going to right click the project, select new, select Java class, click OK. I'm going to name my Java class as hello world and here I'm also going to ask it to generate main method so that I can test it locally and I'll leave all other options by default so I'm just going to select that and click OK now that I've got a uh, sample class build I'm just going to go ahead and add a function that I want to expose it as a web service so this function is what I'm going to call as hello world function which takes na string name as an input and this is just going to do a simple return by concatenating hello and a space to the incoming name if I want to test it out what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say uh, greeting obtain is I just want to make sure that the code compiles well, so I'm just going to invoke it once. What well, expects me as the username? So I'll save all the changes. I should be able to right click my Java class and say run. And when I do that, you'll see that it executed my process and now I'm able to get the response back. Now that my Java class can compile and run, I want to expose this particular function as a web service. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click my hello world.java and I'm going to select the option of create web service. So when I select that, it gives me multiple options. I'm just going to select JAX WS annotations, but note that it gives you multiple other platforms and lot of different options in the wizard to generate different, different types of web services. I'm going to select with the JAX WS annotation web service, select next. I'm going to leave the exact same uh, service name and port. I'm going to leave with the SOAP 1.1 binding. And I, uh, I'm going to go ahead and select the say hello web uh, uh, function to be exposed as a web service operation for me. Select next. You'll see that there are multiple other options about configuring of you know XML schema definitions and uh, configuring of security policies and adding any handlers that you wanted to do for the SOAP uh, header handlers. Since it's a simple bottom-up uh, web service that we're going to create, I'm going to leave all the options as default and I'm going to go ahead and click finish to generate that as a web service. Notice that it added the uh, web service annotations as add web service and add web methods. This is excluded. The entire uh, Java class is now exposed as a web service for me. I'm just going to save all. Now, I have developed a, a bottom-up Java web service. Now, if I wanted to check this out, what I can do is I can select that Hello World Java. Notice that the icon changed. Now, I can right-click that and then say Run. So, when I select this, it will ask you whether you want to run as an application. This will run this main method as if it was a normal Java application. Or, I can deploy it as a J2E application on the embedded, integrated uh, WebLogic server inside the JDeveloper, which is what we want because we want to test it as a web service. So I'm just going to select that option in WLS and click OK. Now what it's going to do is it is going to try to bring up my uh, integrated WebLogic server. You see that it is actually bringing up my WebLogic server right now. It's going to take a minute for all the things to load. Once everything is loaded, you should be able to see a target URL right what I can do is I can copy this particular target URL and 
paste it on my browser. This takes me to the WebLogic server page where my Java application is now deployed. As you can see, it by default gives me a front end where it will say that's the endpoint and this is the WSDL URL. By clicking on that URL, I can see that the Hello World web service has been built, which will take a, a, a string as an input and gives me a response back. Now what I'm going to do is I can test it through multiple channels. I'm going to show you how you can actually test this particular web service using JDeveloper. In order to achieve this, I'll come back to my JDeveloper window, click on the target URL. Clicking on the target URL automatically opens up the HTTP analyzer window inside JDeveloper. In here, you see that I want to call hello world operation. I can give a name for the uh, uh, input argument. I'll call it as experts me. And I'll say send request. You'll see that it goes, executes that particular web service at that endpoint and returns a response back. If I go to the HTTP content tab, I can see the actual SOAP envelope being sent as an input and the response header that is written back from the web service. This is a simple example of how you can create a bottom-up Java web service using JDeveloper very quickly and easily. For more such tutorials and insights and more detailed explanation, please visit experts.me site. Thank you.